Oxytocin is actually, it's a naturally occurring hormone in our bodies. Its primary role is to help us uh, connect with other people, reach out to people, because um, I think that our social world is very important to our well-being more generally, and it makes sense that there's a biological system responsible for that. Oxytocin has been talked a lot about in the media, uh, I think primarily because it's been implicated in uh, influencing social behavior, and uh, there's been a, quite a bit of work showing that in people suffering from autism and schizophrenia, and people with social skills deficits, Oxytocin seems to make people better at reading emotions and faces, so kind of being a little bit more empathetic in some ways. We were interested in giving people oxytocin to see if that would make them oversensitive to people's emotions. And the reason we did that is because uh, in people with deficits, in, in that area, you know, not being able to read the emotions in others, those people actually seem to benefit from oxytocin. But we thought that maybe giving oxytocin to people who had no deficits in that area would kind of rev up to the, the system to a degree that wouldn't necessarily uh, benefit them in the way that we would expect it to. We randomly assigned uh, a community sample to two groups. Um, one of them uh, sniffed uh, oxytocin and the other sniffed kind of like an identical bottle containing a, a saline solution. And we had them complete an emotional intelligence test. And one facet of that test has people look at people, you know, just giving a natural facial expression and ask them to rate how much emotion they're seeing in those faces. We saw that oxytocin made people see more emotion in the faces, which is consistent with a lot of research saying that oxytocin kind of enhances uh, the perception of emotion in people. People need to temper their enthusiasm for oxytocin with respect to how it could benefit us socially because it seems that, yeah, it seems to turn up our social systems, make us more sensitive to things, kind of increase our sociability, but we have to ask ourselves if we're not doing that naturally, um, maybe revving up that system isn't necessarily in our best interest. I've been doing research in the Center for Research in Human Development for about five years now under the supervision of Mark Ellenbogen, who's a Canada Research Chair in Developmental Psychopathology. We've really forged ahead into, I guess, uncharted territory with this line of research in some ways.